Hello, this is Dan of Blake Gamer, and I'm bringing you my tips for running a successful franchise in MLB 14 The Show. The franchise mode in MLB 14 The Show is so awesome this year, and it's really in-depth and just is a great experience. The uh, first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to look at your roster and know how your contracts or when your contracts are running out on your players. Because you have to know this, that way you can plan for what positions you're going to need, um, you know, because if you're going to lose a guy, you have to replace him. So that's going to be your first step. You're going to look at your contract, see how many more years. Let's say like Adam Wainwright, I have him for $20.4 million. He's in the third year before your contract. So, you know, I'm going to have to be planning, have my payroll at a position where if I want to resign Wainwright, I'm going to have that money available. So there's a lot of planning that just goes into your your roster so you really want to look at your roster see what players are coming up to free agency um, get an estimate of how much you're gonna to have to resign them for that way you can plan the next thing you're gonna look at you want to look, gonna look uh, look at your scouting because that's good that really is the backbone of your franchise because with a franchise you're wanting it you know now your franchise mode is gonna go on to the next version in MLB 15 you're going to be able to save your progression into that game so you're want to going to keep this going and your scouting and your minor league system is going to be what's going to carry your franchise for the next 10 20 years so you really want to get a good scouting crew together and the first thing you're going to do you're going to choose a variety of scouts with different strengths like you can see here, like Pacheco, who's in the East, he's 93 on scouting pitchers, but he's only 68 on position players. So you're going to want to use Pacheco to scout pitchers. And like Saldana, he's in the Central, he's 70 on pitchers, but his position player is 91. So you're going to want to use him to scout on uh, your position players. Then you're going to have to look back like what I was telling you about the roster you're gonna to have to look back at your roster and say what positions am I going to need in the future and then you're going to want to scout for those positions what I do is I make a list of you know how many position players I have at each position which position I'm gonna to have to replace and then I go in and scout those positions then you're gonna to want to assign scouts to those needed positions because you're going to want to uh, scout these players more thoroughly. That's where you're going to use your L3 button. Come down here. Let's say that, let's go down to one is it fully scouted yet. Let's say I'm looking at a pitcher. I mean, a uh, um, second baseman. Let's say a second baseman, like Russell here. He's a little less than 50% accuracy. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to assign one of your scouts to that person, to that player. That way you can get a better, more accurate uh, accurate assessment of that player's potential because he's a potential 87. I would love to have a second baseman with that potential, but if you haven't fully scouted him, you're not going to know if that's totally going to be the total true potential of that player. Lastly, you're going to want to keep an eye on the trade block. Because, you, you know, between trades and your minor league system, that's how you're going to, you know, fill your roster. And uh, it, it depends on whether you're playing in a uh, online franchise where you have 30 other guys that you're playing with or you're playing just a franchise by yourself. You know, it's going to vary on uh, what players are put up. But like uh, this, like I see right here, you got... All these potential B, most of them, you know, really ain't worth going after. But every once in a while, you'll have like like the uh, Giants here, right fielder Bruno Ramirez, 18 years old. He's potential B. I mean, that's a if you're needing a right fielder in the next two or three years, that's a definite potential uh, to look at him to see about maybe a trade for him. And usually, you can trade two C guy potential guys for a B potential guy, and you're usually going to get that trade. At least I do. But if you do that, if you keep an eye on your, your uh, roster, 
on who's coming up for free agency, who you may lose, how much payroll you're going to need to sign those players. You keep up with that. Then you look at your scouting, your uh, list, your uh, scouting team. Make sure that your scouting players you need. And then lastly, keep an eye on the trade block and just on a regular basis keep up with this. You should have a great run a great franchise and be very successful. Okay, well thanks for watching. Uh, try to bring more kind of tip tutorials like this in the future. But uh, have fun playing MLB the show. See you later.